I'll be showing nine new features in Microsoft Teams. This includes core teams, meetings, and mobile. So let's get started. The first new feature is the long requested improvement to search for chats. So at the top here, I'm gonna search for Lynn. And there's a chat I had with Lynn, I'm not quite sure where it is. Now here are all the different chats, and I'm gonna find, okay, this looks like the one here. So I'm gonna click go to message. And what it does is it navigates you directly to the chat so I can find the document that I was looking for right here. It used to navigate you to this interim place that was kind of confusing. So now it'll navigate you directly to the chat right when you click go to message. The second feature is soft focus for Teams meetings. This uses AI to take the edge off and give your face a little softer look. So I'm gonna open up the gear here and here is the soft focus. I'm going to scroll this halfway and you'll see AI soften me up a little bit. And if I wanna go all the way up, I'm just gonna max it out. And now I've got that full healthy glow to my face and you can join the meeting looking your best. The third new feature is improved Teams integration with Outlook. I have a mail here from Bill Lumberg, and over on the right-hand side, you'll see this new button, the little Teams icon. If I click this, I have some options. I can share to Teams with a single click, and I can put exactly where I want to share it to. Maybe I want to go to this channel or that channel, and I can send this entire mail directly to Teams. Some other options include just schedule a meeting with these three folks. So if I click this, it pops up a new meeting. It is scheduled to send to all these four people from the mail, and it even is a Teams meeting automatically. And the last couple options, if I click this, I can chat with the group right here with a single click, and it sets a chat message up with all the people, or I can chat directly with Bill Lumberg right from this menu here. And we can talk about those TPS reports. The fourth new feature is the ability to pre-assign attendees in channel meetings when you're making breakout rooms. So I'm gonna create a new meeting here, and we'll give it a title. It's our TPS report offsite, and I'm gonna add a channel for this meeting. We'll go down here, and I will choose general. Now I'm just gonna send out this meeting as a channel meeting. So here is my channel meeting created, and now I'm gonna open this as the organizer and edit. Before the meeting starts, I'm gonna to go to the breakout rooms tab here. Now here are all the possible participants for that channel meeting. What I will do is click create rooms, and I will choose four rooms here, and choose add rooms. Now I have the four rooms, and I'll just click assign participants. And the two choices I have, automatic and manual, I'll leave it at automatically and choose next. It assigns them. And now all my breakout rooms are all set up and ready to go before the meeting starts. And specifically, this is for a channel meeting. In education, channel meetings are very common. So for educators out there, this should be extra helpful. The fifth new feature is poll improvements with a ranking question type. I have a meeting that I've set up and I'll go to the plus tab. And I'm going to choose the Polls app. This is formerly known as the Forms app. It's been renamed. I'll click Plus, then Save. This adds a new Polls tab to my meeting. There's a bunch of choices on the side, and these have already existed with some suggestions. There's a new poll question type. So I'm going to click New Poll, and now you'll see Ranking. And this allows respondents to rank different items. So I'll click this. I'm going to set it up before the meeting. So I want to have them rank their favorite color. We'll give some options. So there are the different ranking options, and some of the choices here have already existed in poll, so I'm not gonna recover those. I'm gonna save this as a draft, and now this poll is ready to launch in the meeting. Just to show what it looks like, I won't join the meeting, I'll just launch it right here. We'll click Launch, and now that poll is live, and these little dots allow you to drag up and down. So I'm gonna drag this one up. You know, I think actually this purple is best in my opinion, and I'll put red in second place and then I'll submit for my results. And this shows the ranking order. Now when other people rank, these things will update. I'll have a couple other people rank. So now three people have responded to the poll and you can see the ranking orders have changed. The sixth new feature is reusing poll questions you've already created. I have a meeting here that I've set up and I've added the polls tab here and I will click into it as the organizer. Now everything is blank for my polls, but there's this new option, my recent polls. If I click this, it'll pull up questions on the right-hand side that I've already used. So maybe I want to reuse how are you feeling today, and we'll save that as a draft. And I'll go back to recent polls. Maybe I want to reuse the ranking question that we created in the last feature. So I'll go here and save that as a draft. Now both of these questions are ready. When I join the meeting, I can launch these and people can respond to them. The seventh new feature is a new way to distribute forms directly into a team. So I have a form here, and I'm gonna to go to the Collect Responses button, click that. You'll see some new options, both for Outlook and Teams. So in this case, there's a little message automatically created that says, would you mind taking two minutes to fill out this form? 
You can change it, but I'll leave the default. Right here though, where you send it to, I will click here and then I'm gonna type in the channel in my team where I want it to go. I've got a staff history channel, I'll type history and here it comes up the history department and then I'll just click send. Message sent, now let's just switch over to teams and find that poll. So we'll go to the history department in my staff team and check it out, there is the staff poll, it's right here. Anybody can click start now and it launches the poll. Hey, I want pizza, submit. The eighth new feature is shared audio on iOS. So I'm in a Teams meeting here on iOS. I'm gonna hit the three dot menu and I will choose share and there's a new audio option. Tap that on. Now, if you wanna share audio like through a video, you're all set. The ninth new feature is that when new channels are created, we don't add the wiki tab by default. This applies specifically to commercial customers. In education, we already didn't add the wiki channel because it was causing confusion with OneNote class notebooks. But in commercial now, if I go to the three dot menu and I choose add channel, give it a name, click add, you'll see in this new channel, there's not a wiki tab by default. If you already have existing wikis, those won't be touched at all. It's more about new channels moving forward will not have that default wiki tab any longer. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.